Hamdi was is that a game that got that got away. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, can't fault the, the lads' effort. But the effort was sensational. Um, we've taken some real positive steps in terms of defence. Uh, defending our trial line very, very well. But we're just doing far too much of it. Um, unforced errors coming out of yardage. There was a period in that first half, around about the 25 minute mark to the 35 minute mark, where we completed one out of six. And it always finds a way to come back and bite you. And where it came back to bite us was just before half time when they scored the try. And then it came to back to bite us in the last 15 minutes where we just had no energy um, to get ourselves up the field uh, by playing in more shape and trying to get more passes and more support around the ball carrier. Um, and ultimately, that was the period which probably cost us the two points tonight. If people will say, you know, it was cruel conceding just before half time, they'll say, you know, you had chances. Didn't quite get over the line yeah. referee, plastic tackles. Yeah. But is that is it too easy to say that? Is is there more to it than big trolling? The things you mentioned. Is there? Yeah, um, you know we're we're the masters of our own downfall. Um, you know we spoke at half time about not making type one errors, and that's something that we've you know brought in. You know type one errors are unforced. Um, you just can't afford them, and. Second set of the game, you know, or sorry, of the second half. Now, drops a ball with no pressure on him, puts us under pressure. We dodge a bullet, and then we get the ball back, and we have a loose pass from dummy half, which almost results in you know Salford scoring. So, it's like, how many more times and how many more ways do you need to say we can't afford to make those type of mistakes? Um, it's rugby league suicide, um, and. You know, we, unfortunately, we're making too many of those with the ball, and it's robbing us of the energy to attack with any sort of fluency and confidence. Um, but it isn't costing us um, lots of points because you know we are, you know, defending, defend on trial and very, very well. How, how difficult is it for you trying to to weigh up? The not balanced positive negatives. You mentioned the defence was so much better effort was, mm. was there absolutely. But then at the end of the day, there are errors in there that this level just shouldn't be making. Can't, 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 no, you shouldn't be making them. Um, and you know that's something which the guys are aware of. You know we spoke about it in review. Um, you know I'm going to have to start. You know thinking about making some changes for those guys who are consistently making those errors. Um, and the other way we'll, we'll we'll get out, obviously, you know, this hall is to keep working hard as we are, um, but tidy up our execution uh, because we've got to execute better than we are at the minute. Um, you know, to get beaten 14-6 against Salford team, will, you know, play a really really expansive style and they really test you. They get the air on the ball and they move you around. They get a lot of shape on shape. Um, we defended it really well. Um, you know, our problem is we're just not sustaining enough field position and pressure um, to ask enough questions of Salford. Um, so you know, that's really disappointing. Was execution the issue as well? The other end of the field is that you did upgrade openings, you know, great close down the wing, uh, mm. Gaz Widdop makes a break. Mm. Uh, Niall comes close with the, the video. Of the yeah, we just didn't, you know, we, 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 we touched on that um, on the Wakefield reveal, you know, getting ourselves in good positions but just picking the wrong pass. You know, there's an opportunity at the end of the game where Greg goes flying down the sideline. He can't quite find that pass inside. And we've got a three-man overlap. Um, Joe Bear just comes and obviously tries to force a quick one. And, you know, Gadsworth makes a decision to pass inside when we've got, you know, a three-on-two on the outside of him. We'll show that on video. Opportunity created again. We need to make sure that we make the right pass. Um, you know, we'll keep showing that vision, and, and hopefully, you know, when those pictures present themselves live game day, you know, they'll start making the most of those opportunities and nailing the, the, the players. Just from a personal perspective, you know, everyone knows about your need and want for the for the job. It must, mm -hmm. That defeat does that sting off more than more than some of the others in the sense that that could have been a win that would have obviously really helped your, your credentials. No, it really stings because. You know, it gives us an opportunity to get ourselves within two of Salford. You know, now we're on four points and they've gone to ten. Um, 
you know, on their team we're going to be challenging you know, on the top six. Um, you know, we've got a really, really big test uh, coming on Friday against Hulkingston Rovers. We're flying, um, and we, we, you know, we targeted you know trying to get you know um, three wins out of our next four. Um, we managed to get the Wakefield one. We haven't come up with the um, the result against um, Salford tonight, um, so it's a missed opportunity. But we have to look at the review, um, learn the lessons, um, you know, take our medicine from the defeat. Um, be happy with the fact that we competed really, really hard against a good team, but be disappointed that we didn't win. And there was opportunities there where if we picked the right play, picked the right pass, you know, um, it might have been a, a win in our favour. I know you, you've got still to make changes with this group playing group you've got. But you've been open about the fact that if the right deal came up, you, you would do it. Is, is there any development? Is there a possibility of something being done before the whole thing? Um, no, no, not for not for the Hulk ER game. Um, you know, we'll have a look at the review um, and see, obviously, how you know players have performed um, individually, and you know we'll make our selections for Hulk ER, uh, based on the squad that we've currently got. Um, you know, I think you know Joe Westerman was a big miss, miss today. Um, you know, I think you, you can see how influential he is for us from an attacking point of view. Um, his ability to get his hands on the ball and, and, and play some shapes, you know, was a big miss for us tonight. So, um, you know, looking forward to getting Joe back. And just finally, I know you'll be sick to death of, of being asked about this. Do you, do you reckon there'll be a call made next week on the on the coaching front, or is, it, is that going to be a week too soon? I honestly don't know. Um, the club will make their decision when they feel as though it's right. Um, you know, I've got a chat with them tomorrow. Um, albeit, it's going to be a. A disappointed chat, I should think, because you know the mood that I'm in now. You know I'm not feeling <laughs> enthused, so to speak. You know that's the the roller coaster of um, you know the profession I was in. But you know I'm proud of obviously the, the players' efforts, and you know I'll dust myself down. Uh, we'll have a good look at the review uh, tomorrow, and then um, you know I'll have that chat with you know the the board of directors. Do you think, despite the results, there obviously been a few wins? I know you'd have liked more, but do you think that the performances have, have shown enough to sort of put, put your name forward in terms of the, the improvement that has been? Um, I think there's been some improvements defensively made. Um, offensively, no, I don't think we're attacking with enough fluency. Um, I don't think we're executing well enough. Um, there's some reasons for that. I, I don't think we're generating enough you know, um, chaos and rook tempo at times. Um, today I felt we got in good ball with too many one out carries again, in spite of us saying, you know, we need to play with more variation and more shape. You know, those guys who were telling people telling, you know, to get more shape and variations on, you know, um for whatever reason it's just not quite happening. So, you know, we'll need to, you know, get back to the drawing board and, and try and get um a little bit more potency in our attack. Um, you know, like I say we, I think we're defending well, uh, which is something to be proud of and take confidence from but want it to be a little bit more uh, important when we've got the ball. I know it's still raw but how do you feel about your prospects after that? Uh, depends which way you look at it. Um, are they, they going to look at the fact that you know we're, we're playing with plenty of effort and we're playing with some desire and competing hard? Um, you know, I'm I'm proud of the fact that we're competing hard, but for me that's a given. You should compete hard every time you play. You know, that's I, I, sometimes I feel as though like when oh, the effort was there, well, it should be there. Professional rugby player, you know, you've got a duty to pull on that shirt and give everything you've got. Um, you know, what I'm frustrated with is just our execution just being a little bit off. Um, and, you know, we we spent a fair bit of time, you know, on the training field, you know, putting some no things in place. It was a tough. It's been a, a tough period because short turnaround and stuff. We've only had one training session leading into the Salford game, and that was Monday. You can't do a great deal because um, you know it's that time of year where you know some games have come thick and fast. We've had a fair bit of travel with the Catalan trip, etc. Um, uh, so yeah, there's it's yeah frustrating. So guys with the prospects, you know, fifty fifty. <laughs> Do you feel like you can get a tune out of this attack? Because you haven't had that spine out much this season, have you all? Yeah, I, you know, the, the, 
there's some quality attacking players there. Um, you know, Gaswood, that was his first game back after, you know, um, two games out with illness. Um, I think the the signs of his, you know, um, illness was probably there in the late stages. You know, he, he looked a little bit on heavy legs. Um, you know, looked a little bit tired. Um, but I, I'm sure when, you know, Milky and um, Gaz, you know, Maka, Wesley now, you know, get a run of games together, you know, we'll, we'll certainly start firing and, you know, we'll start scoring more points, creating more opportunities. But even though we're lacking a little bit of confidence from an attacking point of view, we still, you know, created some opportunities today. And, um, you know, now, you know, makes a couple of breaks. You know, Greg Eden gets pushed into touch late in that first half and gets down the sideline a couple of times. B got down the sideline a couple of times, but just were able to, you know, finish those opportunities off. So, yeah, it's disappointing. Um, but hopefully, you know, moving forward, we'll start taking more of those opportunities.